In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the love of Jesus Christ, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together this day, this call to mind your sorrow and regret that we are sinners. Lord Jesus, you send us the spirit of truth to be our helper and guide. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you died and rose again to bring new life to your people. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the giver of every good gift. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, take away the sins of the world, mercy you are there. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance, though you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is arranged with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many. Terror on every side. Denounce. Let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps we'll be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe the mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the or from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in, in your, your great, great love, love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my children, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for bounteous is your kindness. In your great mercy, turn towards me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and whatever moves in them. Lord, in your great love, answer me.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin, after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. For the gift is not like the transgression. For if by the transgression of the one the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you would hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than any sparrow. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We return now to celebrations in ordinary time. The last two Sundays were actually in ordinary time, but were replaced by solemnities, which were white vestments. So now we're back in ordinary time. We're in green vestments, celebrating ordinary Sundays of the church here. We begin today hearing from Jeremiah the prophet. He was a prophet of the southern kingdom during the late 7th century, and it was a time until Moses is also was often the case. Uh, Jeremiah was a prophet of God, and he suffered consequences for that. At one time he was scourged and put into stocks. Today's readings follow those events. Now Jeremiah did not live at a time when there was a belief in the afterlife that developed later. So that was not part of Jeremiah's preaching or part of his experience. But Jeremiah preached, and of course, as a preacher of God, uh, he, he felt some, some misgivings, perhaps, uh, certainly some, some, some threats. Could we hear initially, I hear the whispering of many, terror on every side. He's feeling that people are out to get him. His message is not being easily or well received, and so there's concern. He feels a bit of a threat. Uh, but yet, at the end of that, he makes this great affirmation of faith and does understand, yes, no matter what happens to me, persecution it will be, but God will be with me. I can trust that God is there for him and that he will be a winner and a vindicator in the end. Now, we not, have not a terribly different theme in our gospel reading from St. Matthew. In this gospel today, uh, Jesus has just before this uh, told the apostles that indeed they would be suffer uh, persecution. Brother will hand over brother to death and the father's child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. 
You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. So Jesus is kind of, we have kind of the same theme that we did in this first reading. It is a, a warning to the disciples as you go out, it will not be easy. You will be persecuted. There will be suffering. But yes, in the end, there will be victory. And for the person of integrity, the message of Jesus, the warnings, are, should not be a problem. For the person of integrity, it doesn't matter. You will survive. Your integrity will be what will take you uh, to the good life at the end of this life. But for the person who is not an integral person, not a person of integrity, then in fact there are difficulties. So we hear today, I think, of something that should remind us there is suffering, and there is persecution, there are difficulties in this life. That is normal. We should not expect to avoid those. But what we do with them is the important question. And if what we do with them is address them, accept them, and deal with them with the knowledge and love of God in our lives, keeping God in the forefront of our concerns and our responses, then I think we should be comforted and assured that we can endure and we can persevere even the difficulties and persecutions of life. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate, he suffered death, was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. We call to mind our needs, assured that God knows and cares for us and every single detail of our lives, right down to the hair on each of our heads. That the church may have the confidence to proclaim the good news from the housetops, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those called to government service may strive to lead in ways of peace and justice. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that all of our fathers and father figures who have loved and guided us throughout our lives, those who are living and those who have passed on to eternal life, may always enjoy God's loving care. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that there may be a quick end to the global pandemic. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer that we have the strength and courage to be joyful witnesses of our Catholic faith in all circumstances. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that all who depend on the fruitfulness of the earth for their livelihood may be blessed with good weather and a successful growing season this summer. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that those who have died may enter his eternal kingdom and that those who grieve for them may be comforted. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Loving God, by your great care and compassion for your people, inspire us to be generous with our care and compassion for those in need. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands from the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant and cleanse by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For your soul loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer, to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you have loved in your Son by the, whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. I share the meaning of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. World. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I would say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The number of announcements this weekend. Daily Mass will resume on Monday at the customary time. Uh, there will be Mass only on Tuesday, no adoration. Parish offices do remain closed. Next weekend, we will resume the celebration of weekend Masses, Saturday at 5.30 and Sunday at 9 o'clock. At advance, sign up as necessary. See the details surrounding this in our bulletin, on our Facebook page, and at the parish website. It's not difficult. If you don't have internet access, you can call the parish and we'll do it for you on the phone. If anyone wishes to celebrate reconciliation, we call for an appointment. Uh, we are not allowed to use the reconciliation room for general uh, confessions like we do on Saturdays. Uh, I look forward to seeing some of you next Saturday between 6.30 and 7.30 in the, my farewell drive-by parade. I want to thank those who have been helping me move to my retirement residence and also invite us to remember in a special way all of those who serve in the ministry of fatherhood with, for us. Uh, fatherhood is a very important ministry. Children deserve a good paternal love and care, that great example. And so we wish all of the fathers a very special day and happy blessing on this day. The Lord be with you. And with your third spirit. By loving God, bless and keep you, the Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ended. Let us go and be at peace. Thanks be to God.